Hi, everybody. Hey, wow, what a room, and hi to everybody online all around the world. Uh, excited to be here. So I want to I wanna start by just picking up where Alex left off. And when, when we look at the App Cloud, when we look at all the Salesforce platform services, it starts with what we've seen you doing, taking our apps for sales and service and marketing and communities, and now extending them and building your own apps, your own apps for sales, your own apps for your service departments, these new scenarios that cut across and deep analysis. And that's what I want to dive into here, all of the developer services that, that you are using every day. Now, the heart of it, the heart of it starts with Force.com. And Force.com is a really simple idea, and that is you could build apps fast with clicks and not code. And there were no boundaries, and there were no barriers, and you could build mobile apps instantly, and everything would have an API. And that foundation, I think, has taken this community and taken this technology incredibly far. And I'm also excited about a technology at the heart of this that I think many of you know well, and that is Apex. And Apex code is kind of extraordinary. And we have Apex in the limits. We have our amazing band just to kick us off. Right on. But it's kind of extraordinary that in a massive multi-tenant cloud SaaS application, you can write code that sits right at the core, right next to the data, inside the transactions. And that's unheard of. That's absolutely amazing that we all have this capability. And we're making big investments in Apex. We're working on a new compiler with partial compilation support. We're working on a new debugger. We've released that performance profiler and also uh, enhancements to our open source Eclipse IDE, including new Lightning component support. And we love this whole space of tools that's building up around Apex and the Force.com platform. Now, there are times when you want to take every single one of those apps and you want to make them mobile. And we love that we have the Salesforce One app container, and you can go to any of your app store of choice and download Salesforce One. And all of the customizations you've made inside Salesforce, all of that metadata, all those processes, all those custom objects, they all surface inside Salesforce One. And there's no other platform that lets you instantly take everything you've built and take it mobile. Now, sometimes you want to build completely custom apps. haagen has done this. Uh, the Spartan Race just did a great app on this, where you want to use our mobile SDK, take advantage of local device features, take advantage of some of the new iOS 9 or Android features, do offline sync with encrypted local storage, and we've got that also in the mobile SDK. So it's exciting to see all the great mobile apps all of you are building. And another need you have is to start blowing out into AWS and start doing elastic computation. You want to write code for data science in Python. You want to use a Java library. You want to offload some compute into this elastic compute world of AWS. And you could do it in a way tightly integrated with Heroku Enterprise, tightly integrated on data and identity, and sync all those customer interactions, all those engagements you have, back into the core of Salesforce. And so the work we're doing in Heroku Private Spaces, Heroku Enterprise, and Heroku Managed Data with Postgres, Redis, Cassandra, and Kafka should be incredibly exciting for all of you to have those new tools. Now, when you build an application, something that I've certainly learned as we developed this Trailhead application internally was, you know, it's not just the interaction in the app. You're really building a set of engagements with your customers, and you really want to take them on a one-to-one -one journey. It starts when they first hear about your app, when you drive awareness to it, and then they have their first app experience, and then you onboard them and show them new features and push them new content, and you hope they don't attrit out, and you hope you can you know, continue to drive more and more engagement. And that's what apps are really about. They're really about a touch point in one-to-one -one customer, one -one customer journeys. And the marketing cloud technology, the journey builder technology, is an extraordinary tool for every developer. I think developers historically didn't think about marketing, but that is the new world. Developers, trailblazers, marketers working together. And I hope all of you will be learning about this technology and starting to use it uh, in your projects. And then we have all these apps, you have all of these engagements, uh, and you're moving on. How do you handle these massive streams of data? You know, you sort of multiply the number of apps, and they're all devices and sensors hooked up. You're now moving to a world sort of far beyond traditional relational databases can manage. You're moving to a world of streams. And our Thunder IoT Cloud technology that we released last Dreamforce is an extraordinary foundation for you. It gives you really productive tools to start working with these stream-based primitives in a very easy declarative way. And we're going to show you that in a little bit. And again, 
the point is to deal with these streams, but then end up driving action, driving that customer engagement. And that's the output of Thunder, is the ability to drive action. Okay, so we build apps, and we built the core, and we made them mobile, and we made sure we were marketing and get people into them and engaged with them. And then we made sure we were really listening to all the signals off these apps. The next thing is that deep understanding and starting to get predictive and starting to see the future and really slicing and dicing. And let me tell you, every single day when I wake up, I look at my Wave Analytics app to understand how you're using the platform and how you're using Trailhead. I love that we just passed 736,100 badges this morning, and I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be 740,000 this afternoon. But getting that analytics to understand your customer in every app right in your pocket on mobile is pretty extraordinary. So that takes you to the core foundational platform services, but I can think of no better to take you to the new lightning wave of technology than our co-founder, Parker Harris. Parker? All right. Thanks. Thank you, Adam.